Hey, what's going on everyone? My name's Ultrasonic Hero and welcome to a brand new video. So for today's video, I want to discuss my own thoughts and opinions on the upcoming Sonic game Sonic X Shadow Generations because that comes out on autumn 2024 though i do have concerns how to go to pull this off because knowing that sonic generations was the 20th anniversary game and sonic x shadow generations is going to be the remaster the upcoming remaster game i do have concerns However, I am excited for the upcoming game. Before we get started on today's video, please make sure to hit the subscribe button as well as clicking on the bell to stay notified on all my uploads. My goal for this year is to surpass 5,000 subscribers. If we can make it to there before the end of the year, then I'll be hosting a very special event or a series. And don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, not only helps me out a bunch, but also helps me to stay motivated. Getting back on topic, as all of you know, Sonic X Shadow Generations comes out on Autumn 2024. The release date hasn't been fully announced, but it is getting me more excited and more hyped for the upcoming game. The reason that I am worried of how they're going to pull off the game is because if they do plan to revert back to their old ways and to repeat their mistakes like they did for Sonic Colors Ultimate and Sonic Origins. And there's a good reason for that. For those of you that don't know Sonic Colors Ultimate, this is a remaster to the original Sonic Colors game. And ever since it did came out, there has been some issues d due to the glitches and bugs and led to players flying off the map and ending up killing themselves. This not only annoyed gamers and Sonic fans alike, but also led to a huge disappointment and the developer stated an apology and that they were going to be updating the game with more fixes to the bugs and glitches. I can't fully remember the number of times that they updated the game, but I can say that the remaster was hugely disappointing, not just for me, but for the Sonic gamers and audiences. I mean, don't get me wrong, I like the frame rate that's much smoother and the gameplay visuals look really, really good. However, with the cutscenes being ported from the original game into the remaster and not being able to upscale the game to its full potential was a huge letdown. So I'm just hoping to hell that the developers of Sonic X Shadow Generations don't repeat that mistake like they did before. Because what I think that the Sonic audiences want to see for the upcoming game is improved visuals, even remade animated cutscenes, and to make sure that the stories are aligned together because the fans are really curious to see Shadow's backstory and how he became the ultimate life form compared to the original Shadow the Hedgehog game and the story. Another thing that I do want to see for the upcoming game is some badass bangers. By bangers, I mean some amazing songs for Shadow the Hedgehog on his story or campaign. For example, like I Am All of Me, if they do a remix of that, that's even better. And We're Stopless, that's one of my favorite songs from the original Shadow the Hedgehog game. It even made its appearance in Sonic Forces, if only the DLC content of Sonic Forces was executed properly. Songs are great, but again, the story just fell flat. So to the developers that did such an appalling job on the DLC content for Sonic Forces, that's on you. Just saying. Almost forgot to mention that Never Turn Back and All Hail Shadow was also part of the original soundtrack of Shadow the Hedgehog. Which of course, shout out to Crush40 for developing such amazing songs. I hope that those songs make an appearance in the upcoming game. I hope they do, because that was the main reason why I loved getting into their music as a Sonic and Shadow fan. When you're playing Shadow the Hedgehog, it's up to the player to decide and determine Shadow's fate. Whether you want Shadow to be a good guy, a bad guy, or just neutral. Mainly, Shadow's goal is to collect all seven of the Chaos Emeralds to uncover the memories of his past and how he became the ultimate life form, or an android, or even, or even fulfilling his purpose and making his promise to Maria for protecting the world. Depending on the player's choice, how they want to progress in the story is up to them. Whether they want to become a villain, hero, or just neutral, as mentioned from before, whatever mission they choose to accomplish or complete will affect the story and shadows too. Anyway, getting back on topic on Sonic X Shadow Generations, let's talk about the bosses. For instance, Black Doom, Black Bull, Commander Gun, Dr. Eggman. If they are going to add Black Doom, Black Bull or any bosses in particular close to Shadow the Hedgehog from the original game, we want to see them pull it off with care and attention. They need to show the Sonic and Shadow fans that they truly give a damn. Where's that damn fourth Chaos Emerald? And if necessary, maybe they can add in an action sequence where Shadow needs to time a homing attack against his opponent, Black Doom. Or the boss. 
anything in particular. Whatever they can pull off, it doesn't matter. They just need to show, they need to show some caring and some great development for this character, for the story, for the boss, for all of that. I do feel at times when Sega and the development team tend to get too creative and overproductive when they're making games. Remember the time when they had to rush the development team to get the game out? And then it led to some problems, like bugs, glitches, and then audio? If Sega and the development team aren't going to put enough heart, effort, and soul into the games that they're developing, then how are they expecting the outcome to be representative as a real quality game? That's my point. All that we want for the franchise along with the upcoming game is success, and nothing but success. It doesn't all have to be perfect, it just needs to show potential. You can understand why I'm worried of how they're gonna develop the game. Because if they do choose to go backwards, like they did before, again, I am gonna be disappointed. Whether this game's gonna be a 7 out of 10, 8 out of 10, or maybe somewhere around 6, I'll still respect it as a game for what it is, as a Sonic and Shadow fan. I mean, it has been problematic for the games that we've played, like Sonic Forces, Sonic Colors Ultimate, and Sonic Origins. They have been problematic, but all that I'm asking from Sega is to be successful. We want you to be successful. I even did a reaction to the announcement trailer of Sonic X Shadow Generations. If you do want to check it out, it'll be at the end screen annotations, or I can provide the video link in the description below if you want to watch it. I did give out my own thoughts into my own feedback, though I don't think I've explained it fully, so I do want to apologize if I did miss out anything. Please let me know in the comment section below if I did. Feedback is important. Being constructive is all that matters. Alright, I believe I've said just about everything for this video. Now, again, I am worried how they're going to execute the game, but I am excited since it's going to be coming out on Autumn 2024, and I will be doing a live stream of Sonic X Shadow Generations on the main channel. When that day comes, I will be ready. Thank you all so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, again, please make sure to smash a like. If you want to see more content on the channel and hear more discussions from me, hit the subscribe and click on the bell to stay notified on all my uploads. Make sure to check out my non-Sonic channel, Ultra Evolution, and also my social media Video links are going to be provided in the description below. I would appreciate your love and support. Thanks again for watching, and as always, I hope to see all of you awesome Sonic dudes in a brand new video. Take care.